So you see me talking to Dominic in the laundromat. Why didn't she just stop in and say hi? I didn't want to interrupt. What do you interrupt? So you just you just let your imagination run wild so you could get over here and grill me about it? You looked like you were having a pretty intense conversation considering you barely know the guy. My mother and all her brothers are Yankees fans, except Uncle Guido. He's a Mets fan for some reason, but he's always been a little strange, so... See, Dominic's as into the Yankees as I am. Yeah, I, I think that Dominic's a busy guy. I'm sure he has plenty of things to do this afternoon. That's true. I got a lot of work to do for your father. I mean, it's a miracle he hired me, actually, considering how he met you and Michael and your mother. But you explained everything, and now it's all okay. Please, Mom, just say Dominic can take me to the game. I, uh, I overstepped my bounds. I shouldn't have stuck, stuck my nose where it didn't belong. What are you talking about? Well... I mean, I'm always going on and on about how I don't want anything to do with the mob, and then the minute you give me one detail about anything, I'm jumping all over it. So. With Dominic. Well, you told me how he got arrested the other day, and you had to hide from the cops, and I just figured this, this guy, if he's going to be doing this job, he either needs to be doing it a whole lot better, or he shouldn't be doing it at all. So I told him that. <laughs> That's funny. It's a little like a mother yelling at her kids for playing in the street. Now I feel stupid. Hey, look. I like that you want to look out for me. Okay? Just don't do it again. Okay? Right. I'm sorry. I know. I, I should butt out. I, I just, um... You know, I, I wouldn't hate for you or, or any of your partners to get compromised. So enough said. Right. Although... I kind of do like the idea of you getting all hot and bothered on my behalf. <laughs> Are you sure she could ignore that? Huh. <clears throat> no, it's a text from Bernie. It's important. Yes. Yeah, this is Olivia Falconeri's, Detective Dante Falconeri's mother. Yeah, we need to talk. So, I haven't been to the new stadium yet. What's it like? Yeah, you know, I'll get used to it in about 30 years. That bad, huh? Uh, you know what? It's just... It's, uh, it's got no history, you know? Old Yankee Stadium had roots. Legends played there. I mean... So, can we go? I'm home! Jet! Hey, Morgan. Hey. I came back early for the ball game, but unfortunately now I have a meeting, so I hope you'll forgive me. It's okay. Dominic's gonna take me. I gather that's you. Yeah, Dominic Pirelli. Good to meet you. And this is my husband, Jasper Jax. How is it you know Morgan? Uh, he's the guy who tried to kidnap me in the woods that night, but he really didn't. And he works for Jason and Dad now. <laughs> Oh, well, that's nice. I need a reason to be talking to you. Start for You fold, I'll talk. This isn't smart, Olivia. I think we'll swipe at 20 bucks from my mother's purse when we were 12. Yeah. Huh? But who covered for you so your father didn't send you to military school? Yeah, I know I'm a cop. Along with your son. What, do you want to blow our cover? Listen, listen. When you got Dante into the undercover unit, I wasn't crazy about it, all right? But I but I kept my mouth shut because I thought you were going to take care of it. hate to burst your bubble, but uh, your son is the one who takes the chances. Don't, don't, don't do that, Ryan. Don't point your finger at the other guy. You are in charge here, and I don't like what's happening. Oh, so you call my boss? And you demand a meeting with him? And then now I got a lieutenant freaking out because he thinks you're going to blow the operation sky high. I've been on this car case for two years now. And I will make sure that you get nothing. Unless you get my kid reassigned. Morgan uh, rode his bike all the way into town to pick up the tickets, and Dominic gave him a ride home. And Dominic's a big Yankees fan, too, so I asked him to the game. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Hmm? And you were okay with this? No, I, 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 no, I, I didn't but say... But you were going to say yes, right? 
Oh, look at that. I'm getting it. Oh, look at that. My meeting was canceled after all. Huh? What do you know? I can take you to the ball game. That's great. For me. Sorry. Hey, that's okay. At least you get to go. Hey, keep an eye out for those uh, ghosts in the outfield, huh? Morgan, do me a favor. <clears throat> take this to my office. There is something in here from a video gaming store in Hong Kong. I think you got it. Awesome. Look. Bye, Dominic. See ya. Take it. Let me be absolutely crystal clear when I say this. I do not like who you work for. So I don't want you near my family. You understand? You don't know me. And I don't want to. You threatened my pregnant wife and her two sons with a gun. I was desperate. And I would never actually hurt a woman and her kids. I don't care. I'll ask your wife. I let them all go. No harm done. It's true. Morgan asked me to take him to a ball game. I didn't know how to say no. Look, I don't fully understand why you're in this house, what you're doing here. But let me just explain this to you so you understand where I'm coming from. The world that you work in is very dangerous. It gets people killed. Okay, you take your boss, for example. And his first wife, she was blown up in a car bomb. And the latest bride, uh, she was shot at the altar and... His son just got out of a coma after being shot in the head. Now, I can't stop Sonny from seeing his kids, but I can sure as hell stop you or anyone else that works for him. So you stay away. Thank you for helping with Morgan, but next time you should just call one of us. Fair enough. Oh, uh, just one last thing. You got a pretty great kid there. I may want to spend a little extra time with him. I'm sorry, you telling me how to be a father? No, I'm just remembering what it was like growing up with that one. Oh, for God's sake. Ron, how old are you? I know how important family is to you, Olivia. But you can't go around threatening a major undercover operation so your baby boy gets home for dinner. Don't you patronize me, Ron. I am keeping my kids safe just the same as your wife would do if this was your kid. My kids aren't working undercover. Simple. This is very simple. Your partner has a conflict of interest here, Ron. His mother has ties to both Sonny Corinthos and John Zakara. Oh, and you think he's going to treat them any differently? Out of respect for your ties? Think again. Look, he goes for what he wants, and he usually gets usually? it. Usually? Yeah. Usually, why is that not reassuring to me? It's his job. Yeah? And his job could get him killed. If Sonny finds out what Dante is up to, he's a dead man. I got an idea. If you're so worried, how about you cut your ties? How about you get my kid reassigned? <sighs> you know the risk going in. Ronnie, Ronnie I've known you my whole life. All right? I've never asked you for anything, not even that stupid 20 bucks back. I'm asking you this now. Please. Please, get my kid out of this. <laughs>